And Jeff Begay is tracking the investigation in Washington. Uh, I, I know, Jeff, uh, interviewing Secret Service members is uh, not, it's, it's, it's not for the faint of heart, as we just saw there. But uh, to the best of your knowledge, from what you were able to glean, is it believed that there was a threat to President Trump involved here? No one is telling us that right now, but of course they're they're still looking into this, Josh. Uh, they don't know where it's going to lead at this point, uh, and that's why you see this investigation expanding globally. There were two arrests made in Britain. We know that, uh, but they're still going on this because they want to know exactly who was behind this. And by the way, they have not ruled out that this may have been some sort of state-sponsored attack. What is now then being done to protect the camera network? Well, in any of these cases where you have some sort of network intrusion, uh, typically the, the target of that uh, tries to upgrade its systems. And that's what we're hearing uh, is happening here in D.C. with their uh, traffic and security cameras that were affected here. This was their system. Uh, and we have uh, law enforcement sources who tell us uh, that the fact that this was able to happen points out that there were uh, real weaknesses in the system that they had in place. Now, uh, that said, uh, once this anomaly, this intrusion was detected, uh, the, the camera system went down, but it was back up and running again in about 48 hours, but they had to reconfigure it. Now, uh, Jeff, again, just so uh, people understand, because the idea of hacking into a camera system, it, it would seem that it, you could only glean just raw data, frankly, what those cameras were seeing. What exactly was it that uh, the hack could have provided to, to those doing it? Well, I mean, you, you could manipulate the video. Certainly, if you have control of it, the concern is that, well, one thing someone, uh, an intruder could do is manipulate what investigators or what security officials are seeing. Uh, and that's, you don't want that to happen when you're trying to secure an event like an inauguration. Uh, and so the fact that this could happen so close to an inauguration, this major national event really raised alarms. And that's why you had members of the Secret Service rushing, trying to figure out, well, who is behind this and what does it mean and how might it impact the inauguration? Yeah, another uh, example, if nothing else, of the times in which we live. Jeff Begay is there in Washington. As always, we do appreciate the insight.